This episode got me so hyped for Painkiller. Like, so hyped because Black Lightning is finally back after like all, pretty much like a month's long break of new, no new episodes. And now it's finally back and this wasn't really an, an episode of Black Lightning even though it technically was. Uh, like, Jefferson wasn't in this. None of the main cast other than Anissa and Grace. Uh, but this is of course the backdoor pilot for Painkiller, which is of course going to be the spinoff of Black Lightning, following the character of Khalil Payne. And when this series, when this spinoff was first announced, I was like, "Really? Like you're giving him his own series?" But now after seeing this, I am into this. Like I am really excited for this. And. I really hope this doesn't end up like Green Arrow and the Canaries where we got that backdoor pilot in Arrow and then it just didn't go anywhere uh, because there's some pretty interesting stuff that was set up here that I'm really excited to see in the future and hopefully we do actually get this series because I'm really into this. So guys, anyway, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the episode yet, but we're going to be talking about Black Lightning Season 4 Episode 7, Painkiller. So we start off the episode with a cool little, uh, I think it was like, like, a, like, a, I guess you could call it an animation, uh, that basically explains that now Khalil, he, in his new life, he is living in Akasha, Akashik Valley, where Anissa and Grace are now honeymooning, because they said they're gonna go on their honeymoon, and of course this just ha happens to be the spot that they go, and of course things do not go right, because Grace gets kidnapped, and then Khalil pops up to actually help out and save, uh, or try to save Anissa, um, but then, uh, you get this cool kind of, like, conversation between Khalil and Painkiller inside of his head, and first I thought it was a flashback, but no, this is actually inside of his head in this moment, you get that a couple times throughout this episode, and one thing I want to point out is just that Painkiller has a weird deep voice now and they changed that in the beginning too how they did like a previously on and they showed cliff from past season and in past seasons when we saw painkiller he never had this deep voice before but they changed it for that recap part and now it's just part of the show now it, it was a retcon and it's just weird like i gotta admit like it's a weird voice like it makes sense to be able to differentiate the painkiller and khalil so i like that but I don't know, the voice is just kind of weird, it threw me off a bit, but once I got used to it, it, it wasn't too bad, but anyway, that we get you get to really see the differences between these two characters in this scene when they're talking inside of Khalil's head, where you see Khalil is meditating, trying to find his center and calm down, while Painkiller is basically going on about how he can't rest until every Pierce is dead. And so that that that's I think that's a good way to differentiate them and, and a way to make sure that um that painkiller always has that darkness inside of him. Like you can redeem him, but if he's around the pierces, then something is gonna be going wrong. And another thing is this whole city here that they're in here is just a very futuristic tech heavy city, which I thought was pretty interesting and pretty weird, but um, also really cool at the same time. Uh, again, reminded me of Green Arrow and the Canaries because that took place in the future, but this is present day, so that was a little weird. But yeah, anyway, so things do not go right. Grace still gets kidnapped, and uh, uh, Painkiller actually accidentally gets out and you know poisons Anissa. So then they go back to painkillers hq where it turns out khalil has bought this whole bar and he's got this whole secret underground uh headquarters for his um well it's not really a superhero business because he's not going out and fighting crime but his just his headquarters his base of operations here where he's hanging out and he's got this friend who has been helping him out to try and keep painkiller under control so we get some cool development with these other char side characters that would be a main part of this cast in the spin-off and when Khalil talks with Nissa, obviously she's not too happy with him because she remembers him trying to kill her many, many times. Uh, but he decides to go out and try to find Grace because, you know, it, it's the least that he can do. So that's what he does. Uh, he goes to investigate. We get we get some cool action between him and his team uh, with his guy in the chair, if you will, with him on the comms, letting him know what's going on here in the situation. 
and it turns out the, the bad guys are kidnapping kids and using these machines to put them in kind of like a brain meditation and it, it was kind of weird but then it also like was really cool at the same time because then it also ties into the main story where this machinery and this tech could also actually help kind of take that pain away from painkiller because pain painkiller keeps saying that like as long as the pierces are out there i all i feel is pain and somehow this machinery would be able to fix that um but uh, as we saw at the end of the episode they weren't able to obtain that but this is where we get probably the best part of the episode where we do get this amazing action sequence which is something i was really looking forward to with painkiller and something you got to expect uh because when khalil uh he lets out painkiller in this battle when he goes to take down the bad guys and he just goes crazy he's using swords he's using guns he's using knives even just his fists his fists were powerful enough and he was just taking down all the bad guys and i just absolutely love this action even though there was only like one or two action scenes in the episode i loved it and that's definitely going to be a big part of this series is the action because th this type of character is just an action heavy character and also nice music choice with the scene as well i feel like a lot of times in these cw shows they have a song playing in the background of a fight scene and it's usually just kind of weird and out of place but here it, it worked really well so i did enjoy that um but then after this, Grace is actually able to escape on her own uh, because, uh, as Khalil was saying at the beginning of the episode, like, oh, Grace, she she can handle herself. And, you know, she did get to demonstrate her powers a bit here, which was definitely really cool as well. And she escaped just in time as Anissa showed up. So they were able to reunite here. So definitely very good there. Uh, but then, like I said before, unfortunately, Khalil and Painkiller were not able to get that tech that would kind of ease the pain. So that is unfortunate, but I mean, if they got that, then that, there would be no point of having this spinoff series because then all their problems would be solved. So they got to have something to tackle with this series. So then we get kind of the ending of this episode to set up for the rest of this series, if hopefully it does eventually get picked up. Um, there's not much setup for the actual rest of this season of black lightning uh just that anissa goes off and you have to assume that she and grace are going back to freeland uh but then uh team painkiller they decide that they are going to go after maya who is this mysterious lady that is in charge of these bad guys and i don't know if we ever got a name of this bad guy organization they might have said it i might have just missed it but um she, maya is the leader they don't know her last name but they just know that her first name is Maya so that they're going to investigate Maya and try and figure out who she is but the final scene of the episode which gets me even more excited for this series we do find out her last name and this whole time I was wondering like what what why is her last name such a mystery but then it's revealed that her father is Agent Odell who if you don't remember who Agent Odell is of course the guy from last season and also season two as well the leader of the ASA a very very shady guy and he was the one that programmed Painkiller to be against the Pierces so it's cool that even though he's probably not going to be like the main villain of this series he does have a presence here even though he probably won't have many appearances that his daughter is going to continue his legacy and she now has a grudge against Painkiller as well, which I think is just awesome. Again, that that's not something that I was at all expecting. But when, as soon as I saw that, I was like, well, I was already on board. But now I'm definitely on board because that was insanely awesome. So, guys, that was the episode. That was Painkiller. This is our backdoor pilot. So, again, I really enjoyed this. I really liked this episode. Um, of course, I'm excited to get back into Black Lightning because this is the final season, so I'm excited to see more of that next week. Of course, I'll continue the weekly episode reviews and breakdowns, but the, again, this gets me really excited for Painkiller, and also, I again, I, I just really hope that this does not end up like Green Arrow on the Canaries, and I really hope that we do actually get to see this series hopefully this fall or whenever it would come out because the, the, this they set up some really interesting storylines here and they really made me like this character of Khalil and Painkiller even more especially seeing the 
diff- the things that differentiate those two sides of this character is kind of like a Jekyll and Hyde situation. I really like that. And again, I, I'm not a big fan of the voice, but um, it, it is nice to differentiate the characters. But yeah, I love this. I, this gets me really hyped for Painkiller. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited for Painkiller? What do you think about the voice? And what do you think about everything they set up for this series with Painkiller? So, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything goes on in the DC life.